Clubhouse Games brings back a few classics from the Wii era, like Tanks from Wii Play and Bowling from Wii Sports. And with Wii Sports Bowling being one of the most famous games of all time, we wanted to see just how this new version compares to the original. But first of all, Clubhouse Games does have over 50 other completely different games compared to the five of Wii Sports. So I didn't go in expecting the same kind of focus and polish, but in terms of how it plays, this is actually pretty refined. In the original Wii Sports, the way the ball would roll was still pretty game-like. As in, if you wanted to throw it straight, you would literally throw the ball in the air rather than rolling it on the ground like a normal person. In fact, bowling like a normal person would apply spin. A lot of it appeared to be based on the animations of your Mi too. You'd hold down the B button to begin your throw, but as long as your Mi had started to run up to the lane, you could do this. And that still counts as a throw somehow. Wii Sports Resort was far more refined, supporting Motion Plus, but it still kind of had an arcadey feel to it. Now Clubhouse Games is a lot more precise. You automatically throw the ball when you swing it past the line, so you can't even throw the ball in the air anymore. So no matter how you throw it, you're more gliding the ball now than throwing it in the air. So spin's no longer handled with where you throw it, but rather the way you twist the Joy-Con. There's no me or character throwing the ball either, so the actual throwing mechanics work extremely differently. Holding down R, which is the throw button, still works somewhat like Wii Sports, but doing that also calibrates where your controller is in 3D space. So you have to make sure you press it while the controller's in front of you, otherwise it may go a bit haywire and not really pick up your movements. There's definitely less room to cheese this version of bowling. Though if you want a slightly easier experience, unlike Wii Sports, there's an option to put up bumpers. This only showed up in one of the training minigames in Wii Sports. But speaking of minigames, one of them kind of returns. Trick Bowling very much resembles the first training minigame in Wii Sports. Though Clubhouse Games only has a set of 10, and if you mess up you move on to the next set, whereas Wii Sports had lives, and if you miss one, you try the same set again. So this is a more accurate depiction of bowling, but does it still have the feeling of character the original had? Well, there's certainly something missing here. The Miis for one, as played out as they are, were ingenious in Wii Sports. There was something cool about having your friends hang out together with characters that somewhat resemble you. Even when playing on your own, your friends cheered you in the background. And that's entirely gone. It's just about knocking down those pins. Heck, Wii Sports Bowling was 4 player, and it didn't matter how many Wii remotes you had, you can just share the one. Clubhouse Bowling though, for whatever reason, is exclusively 2 player, making this a lot less of a party game than the original. You can't throw a ball behind you either! That was the best part! You also can't bowl into other lanes like in Wii Sports. Believe me, I've tried. But Clubhouse Games does stuff Wii Sports simply couldn't. When playing undocked, the game goes into this really awesome vertical display. And yeah, you can play with touch controls as well. Although this is really easy, and the game's a lot more fun with motion. So Clubhouse Bowling is a pretty different beast. It may not quite rival the quirky fun of Wii Sports, especially only offering two-player support, but as far as bowling games go, this may be the best one since Wii Sports Resort. Although there's not much competition. So if you wanted to recapture that Wii magic on the Switch, this gets close, and there's like 50 other games too. So let us know what you guys think about Clubhouse Games Bowling, and of course be sure to subscribe to Game Explain for a lot more on Clubhouse Games and other things gaming too. Until next time, bye!